Welcome everybody. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia del Nuevo Comienzo. Good morning and happy Sunday morning to you. We want to welcome you. Amen. Uh, feliz domingo por la mañana. And we want to welcome you, be excited, receive what God has for you. Amen. So we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Amen. Yeah. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia del Nuevo Comienzo. The Lord has a good message for you. He always has something good for you. He has nothing bad to give you. That's so right. if... Uh, if you're upset about that, then uh, you got to get saved. Yeah. <laughs> or you got to have a relationship so you know that God never wants to put anything bad on you. That's right. Amen. He has nothing bad to put on you. That's he right. sacrificed his son. So he put all the stripes, he put everything on him so that you don't have to go through that. But you got yeah. to know the truth. He says, if you know the truth, it'll set you free. So it's time uh, that we understand this. God is not our enemy. Amen. Right. The enemy is we don't fight flesh and blood. Amen. So we need to also know this because man uh, is not our, our enemies. Right. The enemy is the devil. The yes. devil says he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Mm -hmm. So we need to understand this and get things right. Before we uh, do anything else, grab your Bibles, church, yes. and let's say it like you mean it. Amen. Yes. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I am. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. We walk by faith and not by sight. We walk by faith and not by fear. Amen. It's a big thing right now. Fear, you know. When you have fear in you, you got to get in the word. When you get full of the word, fear has to go. And faith grows. Amen. And we walk by faith. And not my side. Praise God. Amen. Uh, Lord has given me a few things, and uh, I don't know which one, which way to go first. <laughs> but you know what? Uh, we just sang a song. I'm sorry you missed it. All those of you joining us by audio and video, we want to welcome you. A todos los que nos escuchan por audio o video, bienvenidos y prepárense a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. Amen. You're prepared to receive what God has for you. Amen. And this message is very simple. We taught children's church for a long time, you know, many years. And uh, this was one of our favorites. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. And you've got a little light, and you gotta let it shine. Amen? Amen. You can't hide it, and we're gonna read, read some scripture in a few minutes. And, uh, but you gotta let your little light shine for Jesus, amen? And uh, don't be intimidated, just let your light shine, amen? So praise God. Hallelujah, I'm excited. Lord wants to bless you. Uh, you're not lucky. You're blessed. Remember, you're yes. blessed by the best. You're a child of God. So you're not lucky. You're a, a, a blessing going somewhere to happen for somebody. Amen. And uh, we're to be believers. We're to be givers. And we give yes. what God has given unto us. Amen. Praise God. So how many of you are ready? Say aye. 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 All right. Me. I'm ready. <laughs> All right. So anyway, let me see. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. And you can turn to John 8, 12. We're going to be talking about this, this light. Who is the light? Christians are God's instruments to bring light into this dark world. I tell you this all the time. <laughs> you're a child of God going somewhere to happen for somebody. Well, you're the light of, of Jesus. You're his light going somewhere in this dark world to brighten up somebody's, somebody's life. Uh -huh. Amen. There's darkness out there. Yes. But you know what? We are the light of the world. Yes, Amen. We are His light in this world. So open your Bibles to John chapter 8. The Gospel of John chapter 8. A lot of these things we already know, but you know what? It's okay. We got to just uh, get the Word, get in the Word, and, and learn more and more. Amen? Yes. So the King James says this. Chapter 8 and verse 12. Mine starts off with Jesus the light of the world. Uh -huh. Then Jesus spoke again and said unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He who followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Amen. So you don't have to be in darkness anymore. If you know his word, if you have a relationship and know yeah. his word, he says the truth is going to set you free. Amen. Amen. So you've been in bondage, you've been in the past, you've been all these things, all these distractions, all these things happening. You don't have to be there anymore. Once you get the word, it's going to set you free from all that. Yeah. Amen. And when you're free, you're free indeed. Amen. You're able to do what God has called you to do. As a matter of fact, I'll read my little handout for you. This is for somebody. 
So grab it. And it, you know it's for you. Just say it's for me. It's for me. Amen. Mm -hmm. Never feel unqualified to serve the Lord. Mm -hmm. You know, when Moses went before, mm -hmm. when God called Moses, Moses went and, and he says, you know, I'm not qualified. I can't speak. God has called you. He set you here because he called you. And you have a calling in your life. I don't I mean, I'm talking to all of us. Amen. So you including, include yourself. Just point at you. That's, that's at me. God has called you. And he sent you in this world on a mission. Mm -hmm. And he's given you his word. And he's equipped you and anointed you and prepared you for this. So now it's up to us to get in the words, have a relationship, and step out in faith. Amen. So we can fulfill and use what God has given us. But never feel unqualified to serve God. You know, it's the enemy that, the Bible says it's the enemy that comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Yeah. If you feel that way and you feel unqualified, meaning the enemy wants to steal something from you. Yeah. It says the more of, of, of the work to get in you, mm -hmm. the more the enemy is going to pull away. Yeah. Amen. He's going to pull away because he don't want you knowing what the word of God says. Amen. Right. It says God looks at your heart, not your past. That's it. You know, so you know what? Let go of the past. Don't let it hold you in bondage any longer. Mm -hmm. That was just a, 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 a short uh, uh, learning experience. Mm -hmm. Amen. But it wasn't a life sentence. So now it's time to just let it go and press on with God. Amen. But never feel unqualified to serve the Lord. And he's called you. Don't wait for the world to call you. He's called you. And he's got some mission for you. So it's time to press out. Pre uh, step out. Amen. Step yeah. out. Step out with God and press on. Amen. Press on. That's it. Press on. Amen. The Bible says you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Amen. So, oh, we're reading it. Well, we already read it. It says, again, Jesus spoke to them and said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of the world. Amen. Yeah. So now I'll turn to Matthew. Just go back to the Gospels again. The book of Matthew and chapter 5. We got lots of scriptures today. I'm going to read you quite a few scriptures today. But that's okay. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. You know what? <laughs> while, while you're hearing this message, you could be singing that song to yourself. Mm -hmm. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Who's going to let it shine? I am. I am. You got to let it shine. Mm -hmm. You know, the world's going to try to get you to stop. Mm -hmm. Distractions are going to try to get you to stop. Yeah. Everybody else is going to try to get you to stop. Says you don't have no light. Mm. Yes, you do. Says this little light of mine, whatever it is. I even put this up here to remind you. Those of you watching can see this. Those of you that are on audio, I've got a little flashlight that we gave my all the fathers. Uh, I think it was last year for Father's Day, but it's got a little light to it. See, this little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. Amen. Amen. I'm gonna let it shine. It doesn't matter how big. It's just like. Don't let your fire go out for Jesus. That's it. Keep your fire going, amen? amen? Keep your fire going all the time. Don't let it run out. Who's going to let it run out? You are. Mm -hmm. Why would you let it run out? Mm -hmm. Amen? Distractions, the world, the enemy comes to steal, kill, destroy. And he's going to try to distract you from fulfilling what God has called yeah. you to do. Yeah. Amen? But I'm going to keep this little light going. Okay, Matthew chapter 5, be there. Mm -hmm. uh, verses uh, 14 and 15. I'm going to read it from the King James. And then I'm going to read it to you from the Amplified. And then I'm going to read it to you from the easy to read version. So you can really grasp onto it, okay? <laughs> so, patience. Okay? Patience, you know. <laughs> I'm talking about serving God. <laughs> and I've taught helps for a long time. If you don't know what helps is, is ministries in the church where you come in and you help in the church. Amen. And there's a place for you there. Yeah. But, you know, uh, yesterday when I was here, I was praying and, and I was uh, preparing the church for for uh, for service. And you feel like uh, <laughs> there's nobody here. So why are you doing this? <laughs> and the flesh jumps on you and everything else jumps on you saying nobody's here. Mm. But I'm saying, Lord, I'm doing this under you. Mm -hmm. Yes, Christian. Amen. I know he's going to be here. Mm -hmm. Lord, we thank you that your Holy Spirit is here. 
and I'm doing this unto you. Wherever you happen to go, before you prepare yourself, to mm -hmm. spend time with him. Amen. Wherever you go, he is with you. He never leaves you nor yes. forsakes you. Right. Amen. And you can go and be a blessing and be yes. that light to shine wherever he takes you yes. in this dark world. Amen. But if you have an attitude where nobody's watching me, if you're doing it just to be watched and, and, and to get a little pat on the back, you know, mm -hmm. it ain't going to happen. But if you are sold out to him and says, Lord, I'm doing this unto you. Yes. And being your servant. And he's our greatest example because he came to serve yes. and not to be served. Right. And when you see yourself that way, God's going to use you and you're going to go a far, a long ways with God. Amen. Amen. So that's just a, uh, that's just a. <laughs> That's just a nugget I want to give you, but also that's just a magnifying him and not me. <laughs> I'm not magnifying myself. I'm magnifying the one that called me. Yes. Because, Lord, I'm doing this unto you. Mm -hmm. Amen. And some of you that are watching, some of you that are listening, you know, sometimes you want to be seen. Now, if you're doing it just for show and, and, and please men, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> Do it to please God. When you're doing it under him, nobody may be around. You know, hey, I've, I've worked helps. I've worked out in the, in, 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 the, in the parking lot when nobody was. In the dark, in the sun. And I prayed for cars. Say, Lord, bless these families, Lord. Take them home safe. Bring them home. Bring them in there. I pray that they receive what God has for them in there. Yeah. You know, I may not be in service, but I'm praying for God to bless these people in service. And you know what? And, and God's going to bless me because I know. Amen. Because I'm being His minister of helps right here. Bless these people, Lord. These cars are going to be safe because I'm watching over these. And you're helping me. And you're going to bless me. And you're going to bless them. Bless the speaker. Let him have a great message for them, Father God. Because he's doing this on you. Yeah. Amen. When you have that kind of attitude, mm -hmm. you're going to go a long ways with God. Amen. Amen. Yeah. And you're doing it for the right thing, you know. And you're not just, because I'm being seen, you know. And people are seeing me and I'm just showing off. <laughs> I want to show off for him. Yeah. Amen. Amen. He's already paid the price. Yes, yeah. I'm just being a, a servant of God. Amen. Yeah. A good example. So somebody, somebody needed this, okay. <laughs> but Especially with helps, all our empty churches. Okay. Helps, 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 helps. <laughs> is having it enough loving people serving. Mm -hmm. And you're a loving person serving yeah. God. But you're serving God. It's not just trying to impress the pastor. And you're just not trying to impress people. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hey, be the best uh, children's worker there is. Be the best usher, the best greeter, you know. Hey, when I greet people, I'm greeting them as if Jesus was greeting them. Mm -hmm. I'm greeting them as if my pastor was there to greet them, you know. And I'm being a good example of him. Amen. And I'm going to let this light shine for him. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm excited. I don't know about you. <laughs> Where were we? Matthew 5, chapter 5, verse 14 and 15. Are you there? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm not. <laughs> oh, now I know I can find out. I'm in Mark. I'm, I'm in Mark. Go back. Go back. Go back. <laughs> Why don't you give me a right? Okay, Matthew chapter 5, verses 14 and 15. Verse 15. Oh, excuse me, 14. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill, not be hid. Cannot be hid. 15. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Amen? Mm -hmm. Now, let me read it to you. Some of you don't have the Amplified, but I'll read it to you from the Amplified. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hilltop, on a hill, cannot be hidden. Nor, verse 15, nor do men light a lamp and put it under a, a peck measured, um, excuse me, but on a lamp, lamp stand, and it gives light to all in the house. Amen. Praise God. That's the Amplified. Let me give it to you from, from uh, the easy to read version. You are lights that shine for the world to see. You are like a city built on a hilltop, on a hill that cannot be hidden. Mm -hmm. 
people do not hide a lamp under a bowl or a basket, but put it on a lampstand. Yeah. Amen. Then the light shines for everyone in the house. Amen. Amen. In the same way, you should be the light for people, for other people. Mm -hmm. Live so that they will see the good things you do and praise your heavenly Father. Amen. So we're talking, we're getting into the nitty gritty here. Yes. The things, you're going to be an example. You're going to be on display. Uh -huh. Amen. And we're going to be talking about, you got to watch your words and your actions. Mm -hmm. Amen. You're a believer. You're a child of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. Woo, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Man, we're still in the, uh, in the Gospels. Let's go to Luke chapter 11. Uh -huh. So you're glad you brought your Bible. <laughs> we use the word of God. Amen. Luke 11, chapter 11, and verses 33 through 36. Praise God, thank you, Father, for your precious word that will set us for you. Luke chapter 11, verses 33 and 30 through 36. 11. Are you there? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Mine's in red. I don't know about yours. Yes. It says, No man, when he has lit a candle, putteth it in secret place, neither under a bushel, nor uh, but on a candlestick. But they which come in may see the light. In verse 34, The light of the body is the eye. Mm -hmm. Therefore, when thine eye is single, thy whole body also is full of light. But when thy eye is evil, Thy body also is full of darkness. Mm -hmm. And verse 35 says, Take heed therefore that the light which is in thee be not dark darkness. Mm -hmm. 36. If the people, if the whole body therefore be full of light, have no part of darkness, the whole shall be full of light, as when the brightness shining of a candle doeth given the light. Amen. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to read it to you also from, whoo, hallelujah, from the uh, Extended Bible. It says, No one lights a lamp and puts it under a secret place or a cellar or under a bowl or a basket, but under on, on a lampstand so the people can come in and see the light. Your eye is the light or the lamp of the body. When your eye are good, healthy, and clear, your whole body is full of light. But when your eyes are evil, healthy unhealthy and bad your whole body is be uh your whole body will be full of darkness so be careful not to let the light be careful not to let the light in you become or that the light in you as is actually darkness your whole body is full of lights and none of it is darkness then you will shine bright the radiant be filled with light as when a lamp shines brightly with the rays on you. So shine brightly. Let your little light shine. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So remember, let this little light of mine shine. I'm going to let it shine. Mm -hmm. Let it shine or put it under a basket. Mm -hmm. What do I do? It's your choice. Mm -hmm. Are you going to let it hide? <laughs> Are you going to hide amongst the crowd? <laughs> or are you going to let the light shine for Jesus. Yeah. You know, don't be ashamed to let people know that you're a Christian. Amen. Yeah. Don't hide yourself. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. I'm going to put it under a basket. It's your choice. Amen. I, me, that's me. Like it or not, we're on display. Yeah. People are looking at us, believers, and expect us to act a certain way, uh -huh. talk a certain way, and they're watching how we act. Yeah. Just like a job interview. You're on this way. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. I'm not ashamed. And I'm not going to apologize to nobody. Mm -hmm. But they're watching. Yeah. And they're not going to tell you anything until you s might slip and do something wrong. Or say something wrong. Or act the wrong way. Mm -hmm. And then they're going to say, well, I thought you was a Christian. Never before have they spoken to you or said anything to you. But they know you're a believer. Mm -hmm. They know you're a Christian. And you slip, and they'll remind you, I thought you was a Christian. You shouldn't be doing those things. Uh-huh. Come on now. Watch your words. 
Proverbs 18 and 21 says this. Well, let's go there. I want you to, I want you to see it for yourself. Proverbs 8, 18, 21. And we, this is one scripture we, we read all the time. But you know what? That's okay. We're growing and maturing in the, thing, in the word of God. Amen? Amen. Yeah. Proverbs 18, 21 says what? Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Uh -huh. So death and life are in the power of your words. Mm -hmm. So words are powerful. It's time that we learn this, church. Yeah. Those of you watching, those of you that are listening, you know, words are powerful. Words are seeds, and you sow those seeds. What happens when you sow a seed? It grows. So if it's a positive seed, it'll grow positive things. But if it's a negative seed, it'll grow negative things. Oh, yeah. So, you know, uh, used to, we used to have this little uh, quote in the, in the playgrounds and as children that we say, you know, a, a sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Mm -hmm. Well, we got that wrong. Yeah, that's a lie. Because we, that's, that's a lie from the pit of hell, you know. But, you know, we learned it. It's a little nursery, nursery rhyme thing, you know. Mm -hmm. It's like we used to say it all the time. But, no, it's, it's wrong. Mm -hmm. Because words can hurt you. Yes. Death and life, the Bible says, are in the power of your words, yeah. the words you speak. So we got to put a guard over our mouth. Amen. Yeah. We, we got to put a guard over our mouth. And we have to be careful. Watch your words. Yes. Amen. Don't keep yourself in bondage in the past and present. God has set us free. Amen. And God wants to use us. Amen. Yeah. And this uh, handout I've just read to you, God has set us free. Yeah. Don't feel unqualified to serve him. God looks at your heart, not your past. That's right. Amen. People look at your outside and they look at your past and judge you. Yeah. And so, and that's that's what they, they think about you. Mm -hmm. But God looks at the inside. Yeah. Amen. So it's good to forgive. Yes. It's best yeah. to forgive. Amen and forgive. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. And watch your actions. Imitate him. Mm -hmm. If you go to Ephesians, I know you don't have the Amplified, but I'm going to read it to you. If you go to Ephesians chapter 5, verses 1 and 2. Ephesians chapter 5, verses 1 and 2. And I'm going to read it to you from the Amplified because it tells us. Ephesians chapter 5, verses 1 and 2. Well, let me read it to you from the King James also. But be ye therefore followers of what? Of God. As dear children. Verse 2. And walk in what? Love as children also hath loved us. And hath given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice of God for a sweet smell savor. Read that again. Verse 2. Verse two. Uh -huh. and, and walk in love as Christ also has loved us and has given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet smell, smelling savor. Okay. Okay. All right. So the Amplified says this. Therefore be imitators of God. Mm. It says copy him mm. and follow his examples. Okay. So we need, we need to grab a hold of this. Be imitators of God. Not imitators of the world, not imitators of, of anything else. Mm -hmm. Be imitators of God. Amen. Copy him and follow his example as well, beloved children. Imitate their father. Mm -hmm. And verse 2 says, And walk in love, esteeming and delighting in one another, as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us, a slain offering and sacrifice to God for you, so that it become a sweet fragrance. Amen. Amen. So we're to be imitators of God. Yes. Let his light shine. Amen. Let his light shine. Let me see what else I put on him. When I walk in dark room, I expect the light to turn on. When you flip your switch, you have faith. I know this light's going to come on. Amen. We have Faith in doing these things. Yeah. We have to have faith and let this shine. This light shine. Amen. Let yeah. this little light shine. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. When I walk in the dark room, I expect the light to work. I expect when I flip the switch, amen, I get 
a better, <coughs> excuse me, I get to see better mm -hmm. because the light's going to come on. So guess what? Wherever you are, go into this dark world, mm -hmm. you're, you're his light. Yes. And you're going to see better. Yeah. Amen. They're going to see better because they yeah. see uh, uh, Christ. They see yeah. something different about you. Yeah. And they're going to say it. They're going to say it. And you need, you, you must know this. Mm -hmm. Amen. But I have a story also that I need to tell you. <laughs> this man in the mission field, he told the believer, he told the, the missionary, he says, you know, every time all you believers are the same. You know, you have this thing about you. I can see it in your face. Mm -hmm. What is it about you? What is it you put on your face? It's always bright. He said, I don't know what you're talking about. He keeps saying, he's getting upset. He says, you know, are you believers? You put something on, on you. You know, you're always shining on your face. He says, he got it. He says, let me, let me, let me, let me get, uh, give it to you here. It says, uh, it's not on the outside. If we put anything on the outside, it's on the inside. Mm. Because when you come born, born again, it's the greater one in you. Mm -hmm. Amen. And you're letting God shine out through you. Mm -hmm. And people see that. You know, when you smile, <laughs> it shows. And people see this. And they, they, they want to know, what is it about you? Why is it you're acting this way? Why is it that you're doing this? Why is it that you're so joyful? It's because the greater <laughs> one in me. Amen. Mm -hmm. And it's showing out through you. And people are seeing this. It's, refle yeah. it's a reflection. Yes. Amen. And then you can lead them to Christ. Because you can have the same thing. Amen. And instead of putting them down, lift them up and say, you know, you can have the same thing. They say you can have the same Christ. You can have the same Jesus that I have. Yeah. Amen. And you can have this light shine on you also. Yeah. Praise God. Thank Woo! Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. So God expects us to do the same. We're his light on the earth, on the world. We're his flashlights. We're his lighthouse. We're his light bulbs. Mm -hmm. Wherever you go. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Just think about that. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, ships, they expected uh, the lighthouse, you know. They saw the light and they attracted it. Mm -hmm. And they saw it and it guided them, you know. So we are the light of Jesus. Yeah. We're the light yeah. on, of Jesus on earth. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so let your light shine for Jesus. You know, don't put it under a bushel. Don't hide it when you go out into the world. Right. Let it shine, amen. Because people can yeah. they'll see it. Yeah. Amen. They'll see it. And and, and, and you be a shining light for Jesus. Amen. Don't 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 hide it. Praise God, but let it out. Yeah. We shine like a star in the universe. Amen. Light will expect darkness. So we are his light on the world. Amen. So you are somebody special. See yourself that way. I don't care if anybody, nobody ever told you that. You're somebody special for Jesus going somewhere to happen for somebody. Amen. You're somebody, you're, the, uh, you're, you're his light mm -hmm. going somewhere in this dark world to expel darkness. Yes. Amen. I say, praise God. God chose me. Mm -hmm. See yourself that way. God, yeah. God picked me. God chose me. Amen. And I'm just letting this little bitty light in me shine out to the world. Amen. But the world can see. Mm -hmm. You know, be his lighthouse wherever you are. You know, that ship that's lost out there is coming because he sees the light mm -hmm. in you. So praise God. Let it, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Praise God. Yes. Be his light. In this world, <laughs> this world needs your light. Yes. We live in a world... They don't doesn't care much about Jesus, and we're trying to expel them all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, we're taking them out of uh, everywhere. Yeah, school, you know, church, school, church. Government. We're taking them out of everything. We're ta mm -hmm. taking them out of government. We we don't even want to say them uh, in, in our pledge of allegiance anymore. Mm -hmm. In one nation under God, mm -hmm. we just take it out, you know, and not even put it there. Mm -hmm. It is a world that makes fun of believers or Christians. But guess what? They really need us. And God has us here, whether yeah. they want us or not. But God has us here on a, on a special mission. Yes, yes. To let your light shine for Him. Amen. Mm -hmm. This dark world. You know, you're going to light it up for, for, for God. Amen. And do your job. Do, do Be an example for Him. It may not be a very comfortable position to be in, but we or I play an important role in this world. Amen. Yeah. Serving Him. Serving Him. Mm -hmm. You have a special part. You know, 
we've talked about this all the time, but uh, this physical body has many parts. Mm -hmm. But all these parts work in unity. Yeah. They work together. Amen. And that's what we need to do as a body of Christ. We come together and work together in unity. Amen. So remember this. And you're, you're, you're part of that body. And do your part. I want to show, I want to, I want another scripture for you. Turn to Colossians, one of my favorite scriptures. Colossians chapter 3. Yeah. Remember I was telling you about serving God? Uh -huh. And, uh, just get it in you. Even if when nobody's uh, there, nobody's watching. Lord, I'm doing this under you. And I'm going to be faithful in doing it. Whether pastor's watching or sister so-and-so or brother so-and-so or the church is watching, I'm going to do it faithfully under you. It says, uh, Colossians chapter 3, verse 23 and 24. And whatever you do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not unto men, knowing that of the Lord ye shall receive the reward of inheritance, and ye serve the Lord Christ. So you do it unto who? You do it unto him. Yeah. Lord, I'm doing this unto you. Amen. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave yeah. Jesus. So if he gave Jesus, Jesus came and gave himself to be sacrificed. So we can give ourselves. Amen. We also can give of ourselves to yeah. him. Give your best to him. Amen. Praise God. Woo. I'm excited all about you. <laughs> Here's another story. A little boy heard the school teacher say Jesus was the light of the world. And he took this quite literally. After class, the little boy told the teacher, you know what? This is if Jesus is the light of the world. He says, I want him to come to my neighborhood because that alleyway of my house, he says, is real dark. <laughs> He says, he can light up this alleyway because I'm afraid to go out there. You know what? There's a lot of alleyways out here in this world. And you're that little light. Amen. Going. You're the little Jesus in this little light that's going out there to brighten out all these alleyways, wherever they happen to be. Yeah. Amen. Get rid of this darkness because you are the light of the world. Amen. Yeah. You, you are his light. And then it says, Jesus Christ is the power supply the power source and we each light up our own corners yes. in darkness our own dark alleyways yes. amen but he is your power source mm -hmm. he is your power supply amen so we got to stay hooked up we got to stay connected he is the vine and we are the branches but we got to stay connected to the vine amen so praise god he is our power source our duty is to let the light of god shine through us not hide it under the bushel that's yeah. it you know, that's all we've been talking about. Our duty is to let the light of God shine through us. Amen. Don't just be a part-time Christian. Be a full-time Christian. Be full-time. Amen. Be a full-time Christian. Amen. And in closing, yeah. I just want to let you know, don't be a dim bulb. <laughs> don't hide your light. Let your little light shine for Jesus. Amen. Don't hide it. This is a very simple message. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a big impact because you might be small. You know, you might be a part of this body. It's a big body. But it's many parts. Yeah. And you're one of those many parts. Mm -hmm. And this might be a little light, but guess what? My source comes from the power source. Amen. Yeah. It comes from yeah. God. And we just let yeah. it reflect out into the world. Yes. Thank you, Lord. And I'm gonna let this little light shine for Jesus. Amen. You do the same thing. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Don't be a dim bulb or a dim light for Jesus. Stay charged. Yeah. Shining bright for Jesus. Let your light shine. For Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. I hope uh, they blessed you. They blessed me just to know, hey, we know we used to sing it as, in, in children's church. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine, you know, and the kids would just dance all over the place and sing and just be so excited because they're little lights for Jesus. But guess what? As adults, you know, still with his children, 
So don't let your light go out. Mm -hmm. Amen. Let it shine brighter and brighter each and every day. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because you know what? We need Jesus now yes. more than ever. More than ever. More than ever. Amen. Be that lighthouse for Jesus, you know. Everywhere you go, just into this dark world, they'll see this light coming at them. Says, yeah. wow, you got something I need. Yeah. It says, Jesus. All you have to do is just confess. Some of you are watching. Some of you are listening. If you have never accepted Jesus, now's the time, you know. Yes. Say, you know, things are bad. Things are looking worse and worse. Mm. Well, you know what? If you read the Bible, it says it's going to get worse before it gets better. Mm -hmm. So you might as well just join the winning team. Yeah. And we're on God's winning team. Mm -hmm. Amen. And let your light shine. Praise God. Yeah. So... All you have to do is just say, Lord Jesus, I've sinned against you. I repent. I turn my life around. I confess you as my Lord and Savior. Yeah. That's all you have to do. And start living for him. Amen. Amen. And let that light shine for him. Praise God. Amen. Amen. So, Amen. praise God. Some of you may be hurting. Whatever that hurt may be, it doesn't matter. It says, for God, that by Jesus Christ, excuse me, for by Jesus yeah. Christ, you're healed. Yeah. So, whatever it may be, Attacking your body right now, sickness, disease, it doesn't matter. Amen. By Jesus' stripes, you are healed. Amen. He sacrificed his son, of course, that by those stripes that you are healed. Amen. So yes. receive your healing. Amen. Body line up with the word of God. Receive yes. the healing right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. All you have to do is, is confess it and, and, and accept it in faith and say, Lord, I receive my healing. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Praise God. Receive your healing. Amen. Praise God. Yeah. Thank you, Amen. I'm excited, I don't know about you, but uh, I'm going to let my light shine, yeah. no matter what. So, anyway, it's time to give. So, yeah. <clears throat> those of you that are uh, watching, just look at your screen there and it gives all the information. And look for that donate button and, and, uh, and press that. If you're uh, mailing, go to NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. Amen. So again, we want to say thank you and uh, God's best to you. Praise God. Amen. Yeah. Amen.